Hello, everyone. Hello, best for soilers. Welcome again to the stage. Welcome to this uh, uh, meeting point with the facilitators and the experts from the different countries in the Mediterranean area. This morning, we started with a presentation showing that there are different methods to control effectively the group of the most harmful southern nematodes, Melidogyne. The integration of these techniques will allow us to control the level of nematodes in the soil under economic thresholds. Integration of different solutions will lead to a successful crop system. Different methods to increase soil health that you can consult in our Best for Soil site. These, me these methods are supported in videos and fact sheets in our website, and you are free to use them in your environment. It is free material and it is in the language of the growers and the advisors in your country. Spreading the best practices for soil health is key to improve the management of European growing system. We are using our methods, our tools, but surely you have great ideas to share this information with your groups. This is the subject of the next panel, where Stefan will again explore this survey together with the facilitators. Stefan, together with the Swiss team of the project, is preparing a report with your feedback in the workshop and your feedback when you visit our website. Stefan, please, I give you the floor. Thank you, Miguel, and hello to everybody. Like yesterday, you discussed some questions about this workshop and about the Best for Soil project. What did you learn from this workshop today and yesterday? And what did you know about the Best for Soil before this workshop? And when I passed in your sessions, I saw and heard again a lot of useful remarks and suggestions. Thank you a lot for your feedback. We will summarize now the most important points in each country. And I will start with Jose from Spain. Hello to Spain. Hello to Jose. Hello, Stefan. Hello, Miguel. Hello to, to everyone. Hello, Mediterranean colleagues. The feedback from Spanish participants, it's very, very good. We are very happy because uh, we think everyone wants to, to learn more and more. Uh, we had an intense discussion in the different presentations of the three sessions. Uh, perhaps the most intense of all was yesterday morning along the session on compost and soil health, but also this morning uh, has been very, very intense and, and active uh, in the session on crop rotation. Um, also, the presentation on the topic of biofumigation and biosolarization create a continuous debate uh, with the participation of experts. Uh, always from different Spanish areas are, uh, and different crops. Uh, the impressions of on, on the workshop are completely positive. Uh, participants really appreciate uh, the information uh, that has been shared through the presentations of the speaker, but also the, with the information, the, the additional information uh, report uh, through the discussion. Uh, the, they consider this information useful, practical, and also accurate. Um, on the other hand, many of the attendees already knew about the, the project Best for Soil, but had not yet access uh, to the materials. Uh, I have only had uh, a direct communication from a teacher, uh, from a professor of the university who had used the material in class. Uh, he had also shared the material with, with the students, and this is uh, important. Uh, nobody has reported uh, problems neither in the use of the websites nor on uh, the use of, of hopping along the, the workshop. Uh, as I said at the beginning, it seems that Spanish participants want to learn more and more, and they are asking for more events li like this workshop. This is all about the Spanish evaluation. Uh, thank you very much, and see you again later.
Thank you, Jose, and also for the good news from Spain. So it's 12 points to Spain. Now we go to Italy. Maria, please, for your feedback for the evaluation part. Good morning uh, to everybody. Good morning to Stefan and Miguel. Uh, even uh, in our section, uh, the interest was uh, very high and uh, uh, everybody uh, made uh, their complimentation with, uh, with me and uh, with all the Sport Soil staff for the organization of this workshop, uh, as well as uh, for the uh, tools uh, that the project uh, uh, is uh, Putting uh, in uh, in uh, in uh, is sharing with with everybody. Uh, so um, I think that the workshop was very fruitful and very instructive for uh, all the participants. And uh, a general comment was also to uh, enlarge the possibility to have a further experience, maybe like this one, and uh, to have. Uh, deeper experience uh, even on other aspects uh, 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 in particular uh, it would be uh, important uh, in their opinion also to uh, make uh, not just information but also to try to uh, make uh, even uh, uh, training to farmers and to advisors uh, because uh, uh, sometimes uh, is is not enough just to, to give uh, uh, information, but uh, uh, to give them the possibility to know uh, even uh, in more detail and uh, even uh, in a concrete way. We already said even yesterday that uh, field demonstration would be very important aspect to implement and improve uh, the spread of. Uh, uh, the information that Desco Soil want to um, uh, disseminate. Uh, and uh, uh, sometimes uh, it would be important not just to disseminate information, but even to make a real training uh, related to this kind uh, of topic that uh, from uh, all the participants uh, came out uh, that are really crucial and fundamental nowadays to uh, to go on with uh, with agriculture uh, there was the, again uh, one comment on the database a couple of comments on the database that was very uh, much appreciated by uh, by the attendees uh, related to the possibility to enrich it uh, with uh, Medi more Mediterranean data, but that is something we already said yesterday, that would be very important. Um, and uh, another little detail, just to give a detail, <laughs> is uh, related to the legend in uh, the output of the scheme, if the legend would be a little bit uh, bigger, <laughs> it would be interesting uh, to have a more clear uh, reading uh, of, of the outputs but uh, th this is very little a tiny details <laughs> so for uh, the general uh, part uh, i think that uh, this is all from the italian session thank you very much maria and it's exactly this kind of information who are important which are important for us also all these details that the tools are more comprehensive for the for the users so we go further to France, and in France it's Charlotte with the summary. Good morning, everyone. So in France, 40 participants were present today during the world presentations. Yesterday, they were between 40 and 17, and several comments were emitted about the different tools. First, concerning database, there is a positive feedback about the easy to use of the tools and their compositions. However, several participants highlight some issues. For instance, the importance to take care about the conclusion of the sheets, because some information about specificity of cultures are still lacking. Likewise, it seems important to take into the bypassing of plant resistance. Moreover, some weak information are still lacking about nematode and fungi. Concerning video effect sheets, they are highly appreciated. They are full of information and could be easy 
use and field with non specific public. And then concerning the best fossil project in world, it is not really known between before the two day of workshop. Maybe we have to change your channel of diffusion. Um, maybe we have to make some training on the field, I think. Okay, thank you very much, Charlotte. And now we go to Cyprus, and in Cyprus it's Kipros who will join us. Hello, Kipros. Hello. We can hear you, but we can't Hello. see you, but it's okay. But you can start. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong. It, it, it doesn't let me share my my camera, but can, can you hear me? Yes, you but can. You can hear? start. No problem. Okay. Uh, so, good morning to everyone. Uh, I wish I could say something about my own experience, but Unfortunately, I got no response whatsoever in neither the, the web page or even at the presentation during the time I was showing them. Uh, I don't have anything to report because I, I didn't have any interaction with the participants whatsoever. Okay. Thank you, Kipros. You are welcome. <laughs> And now the, the workshop is already finished. That's why I would like to thank you, the participants, the moderators, the experts for these useful information. Um, also a great thanks to the secretaries, Miguel, and also the whole organization staff, uh, Günther and his, his team. And a last information from my side, in 2021, we will start the final survey about the whole Best for Soil project. So if you get a link for an online survey from Best for Soil next spring or summer, we would like to encourage you to take some minutes and to give us a feedback. Thank you for this. And now I give back the floor to Miguel. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Stefan. It's, uh, uh, I think that the, the collection of the feedback is, uh, is great. There's uh, a lot of uh, interaction between the participants in the workshop. In fact, in some countries like uh, Cyprus, uh, the workshop is uh, the beginning of the actions uh, linked to Best for Soil. I think that this is why the, the situation in, in, in Cyprus and Greece is a bit uh, different than for, for France, Italy, and Spain. Uh, in our countries, we we have uh, uh, carried out a different task during the this year and before the the, the, the COVID came. So now I I would uh, like to to go on with the with the with the session. Uh, the as you know, the, the best for soil databases are a, a tool that is, is, is unique in the world. There's nothing, <clears throat> there's nothing uh, uh, like this uh, database. Uh, it, it is a big chance uh, uh, to quickly check if there is a risk in using a particular crop rotation in your uh, in your field. This will help apps to to be aware, uh, also to ask for advisory. But advisory is necessary uh, always if we want to to reach uh, the the provide the yields in, in in our fields and the crop rotation is, is, is an option for some crop systems but not for all of them interesting methods were presented in the first video this morning where uh, Caroline Caboralino has explained us brilliantly the results of uh, on, on interplanting the use of resistant plants uh, and also solidization that is a combination of methods uh, surely this in, in the four sessions in the four countries there have been nice discussions and wonderful questions ready to be solved. Uh, we will start with uh, Jose. Uh, please, Jose, let, let us know uh, your feedback. Yes, hello again, Miguel. 
Hello, Mediterranean College. Um, uh, as I explained in the previous evaluation, uh, we had an intense discussion in the different presentation of the of the session. Uh, today, in the Spanish session, we had the presence of experts, nematologists, and, and pathologists. They shared the, their knowledge on uh, also the, the experience uh, with us. So this is a great complement uh, to the information shared in the in in the presentation. Crop rotation is, as you said, a, a difficult topic, as the market re requirement makes hard to choose profitable crops in many cases. But there are alternatives uh, as far as resultant also tolerant varieties or rookstock uh, that are available in the, in the market. Um, with this regard, uh, we have uh, some question um, that has been exposed uh, during the discussion. Um, for example, we have a question for Caroline, if is present in this session. Uh, we um, uh, attendees want to know if do you know about other phytoparasitic nematodes which increase with the cultivation of sorghum. This is because uh, some experiences in the Spanish session said that they had detected significant increases in some ectoparasit uh, nematodes. Is here, uh, Caroline, to solve the, this question? Yeah, I think she, she's here. I, I don't know if they are trying to... Okay. No. Miguel, maybe we can continue with a question we have for, for Salomon, also some question, I don't know if... Yes, 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 yes. please go, go on because uh, they, they can both uh, came together to the, to the stage. Okay, okay, but we continue with uh, another question. Uh, the, this one is for Salomon. Uh, what do you think uh, of the use of rookstock for nematode control? This was a, a, a main topic during the discussion. This is because some colleagues have commented that the continuous use of resistant rootstock or resistant cultivar can select population of virulent nematodes. These virulent nematodes can be capable of breaking the resistance and we want to know if you have uh, similar experiences. Well, oh, Jan is here. Oh, Jan. Um, thank you for the question, but unfortunately, I have no good answer. I have no information to uh, answer this question right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have, yeah. I have to uh, do my research for that. Uh huh. Um, I, I have uh, also uh, another question because we were talking about the the use of mycorrhiza for nematode control. Mm -hmm. It has been said that in high concentration of nematodes, they don't work well and they would not be as useful when there is crop rotation because the roots are removed and you lose the mycorrhiza. 
do you have any experience or, or do you know any studies about uh, this topic, uh, this question? Sorry, once again, I have no good answer. Uh, I don't know studies of it. Only field experience in Holland uh, with some onion fields. And then we have seen there is no no uh, good or bad effect from mycorrhiza. Uh, mm -hmm. So my, my colleague uh, didn't uh, improve uh, the, the resistance against uh, nematodes for onions. Mm -hmm. There were no results. Uh -huh. It's it's because uh, colleagues were were speaking about the combination of different crops uh, such as clover. Um, this could be a good option to for mycorrhiza. Uh, this is, uh, we have more question. The, this one was the question for, for you, Salomon. Thank you very much uh, for your answer. Um, and the next one, it's for Caroline. I don't know if the problem has been solved. Uh, I think that the problem is, is, is still there. Uh, so Oh, oh, no, it's here now. Salud. Hello, Caroline. Sorry, I, I couldn't join you. Okay. Um, um, I'm not a specialist of the other nematodes that are uh, uh, ph ph phytoparasitic uh, species, but uh, we worked with uh, a specialist, Thierry Matei, who is now retired. And uh, he, he told us that telotilankidae, uh, the uh, just Caroline, I think we can hear you. Sorry, yeah. it's not in the same time as, a, okay, when I speak and when I hear me, oh. so it's difficult. Okay, just, uh, so Telotilankidae, the family of Telotilankidae uh, is able to, okay, I, I stop the camera perhaps. Okay, um, it's difficult because I, I speak and I have, uh, you have a call. And I hear me after. Yeah. Okay, Car Carol. Okay, it's done. Okay. So telentilekide, paratilenkide are able to attack uh, sorghum, but uh, um, uh, they don't uh, have a, uh, it's not a real problem for sorghum and for the other culture. So for us, meloidogyne is really the most important uh, nematodes to control. Uh -huh. As I explained, uh, explained before that this was because experts in our session in Spain they have detected a significant increase in some ecto ectoparasit uh, nematodes. Uh, um, we have uh, one question for you, uh, Caroline. Another one. Uh, do you know, Caroline, anything about the, the water needs of biofumigant crops? This is because. In some areas of Spain, this is an important issue, especially in the summer months. It seems uh, that uh, there is a lack of information on species, varieties of biofumigant crops for, for our dry condition. We have only tried uh, sorghum as biofumigant plants, okay? And for that, uh, the plant was incorporated into the soil after 
there, there was an irrigation and after they put, uh, um, they, they close the soil um, by a plastic sheet or by um, uh, they, they try to shed the soil, but for the water, the quantity of water, I don't know exactly because I have no experience of that, but perhaps if Claire Goyon is uh, here, perhaps she can uh, share his experience. But uh, it seems that some water is important uh, to have a, a big quantity of water. It's important because the water will help the gas to, to go to the nematodes. But it's but important. I, I, yes. But um, the quantity, I don't know. Okay. It's the uh, capacité au champ. In French, it's capacité au champ. Where you have to put water. But, as possible. Uh, so, so, if you have more water, but, it will help you to diffuse the gas uh, to uh -huh. reach the methods. So uh, thank you, Caroline. Uh, high quantity. Um, I mean, um, uh, the, the needs of water during the, the season of the crop, during the development of the crop, not oh, for okay. the treatment, not for uh -huh. uh, after the incorporation in the soil. Okay. Uh, because uh, okay. there is a, a lack of information uh, on a species uh, adapted to our dry condition. Uh, we need to, to improve the, the knowledge uh, on this topic. Uh, uh, we think is essential. Uh, attendees in the session, uh, it, this was the, the opinion. During, during uh, uh, the crop, sorghum is adapted to hot conditions. So. Hmm. You don't need a lot of water for sorghum. Perhaps you will need more water for other uh, biofumigant plants, but for sorghum, is it's a plant adapted to high uh, hot conditions. Okay, but uh, in our experiment, I think it was a little bit irrigated, but not a lot during the culture. But if you want more information about uh, this condition of culture, you have to contact. Claire Goyon, who did the experiment in field, and uh, she worked at April, and uh, she she was uh, in the session with us. So I don't know if she's here again with us, uh, but uh, she, she can answer, and I can send you uh, a, um, a email if you want to ask the question. Mm -hmm. But sorghum is adapted to hot conditions. Uh, okay. And yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Here uh, in Almeria, they have tried with um, uh, Sudan grass, yes. but uh, it seems that the needs of water it's high. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, thank you very it's much. It's only during three weeks. We just have to 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 do that during three weeks, because as far it's really important to incorporate, incorporate uh, uh, the sorghum in the soil. Because if uh, you wait uh, uh, more time, you will increase the nematodes. So in hot conditions, in three weeks, the cycle of the nematode is achieved. And so it's really important to incorporate the sorghum. So, it's okay. Perhaps you need some water in your condition. I don't know why, because in our condition, it's what not not so necessary. But you need to incorporate to do that only during three weeks, because uh -huh. really important. The, the things really important with sorghum is to incorporate it in the soil after three weeks in uh, in hot condition, because the cycle of nematode will be achieved after four weeks. Okay. Okay, okay, Caroline. If you don't do that, you will increase the nematode instead uh -huh. of it. Okay? It's a, an important remark, of, yes, of course. It's, yes, yes. It's really important. Mm -hmm. Okay, Caroline, thank you very much for your comments. Uh, thank you very much uh, to you, to your group, uh, uh, for your studies. Uh, I think uh, they are amazing. 
Um, this is all the question we had uh, to you, to uh, for Salomon also. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I want to remark that the session in Spain has been very, very fruitful, and we are very happy. Uh, bye for healthy soil and better harvest for us and for the next generation. Best for soil. Bye. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Jose Ignacio. Uh, now we would like to hear from Maria Gracia the, the summary from the Italy session. It has been also quite attractive uh, with the active participation of Giovanna Curto and uh, Mirko D'Angelo, among others. Please, Maria. Yes, uh, good. Uh, thank you, Miguel. Uh, hello to everybody again. Uh, as you said, uh, yes, uh, we had a very uh, fruitful uh, and interesting uh, exchange uh, of experience. Uh, we have the luck to have uh, different participants, uh, also representative from different agricultural sectors, uh, like advisor from uh, vegetable crops uh, to seeds producers, uh, and also some uh, a uh, few fruit crops uh, fruit producers. Uh, it was uh, very, very interesting uh, to have all uh, these uh, participants. Um, in general, I can say that uh, all agreed uh, on uh, the importance and uh, crucial uh, uh, points uh, that uh, add, uh, as uh, the soil and uh, the necessity to enhance uh, the soil health uh, for the benefit of agriculture, uh, for, uh, for uh, the actual agriculture and for the future agriculture, um, in, uh, in, uh, in general, in, in a whole, uh, in, uh, it's a whole aspect. Uh, and uh, the necessity to put uh, uh, very much attention to uh, the organic matter content into the soil, uh, and uh, to increase uh, the uh, uh, biodiversity of the soil as well, uh, including uh, the increase of uh, the necessity to increase knowledge also on uh, pathogens uh, management. And uh, for this, uh, I think uh, that uh, this workshop was uh, uh, appreciated very much by all participants. Um, the debate uh, was very high and uh, um, the rule of uh, crop rotation uh, was uh, discussed uh, also related to the purpose to control the uh, of soil health uh, related to the main uh, uh, pathogens uh, uh, that uh, occurs uh, in Italy. Uh, so far we have to say that uh, crop rotation in Italy had a more relevant uh, uh, importance uh, in the common practice uh, most related to soil sickness uh, and not uh, uh, to specific uh, uh, pathogens like uh, nematodes uh, that uh, uh, surely are uh, some of the main uh, uh, topic uh, of the discussion of today. Uh, we had the luck to have uh, Giovanna Curto with us uh, and uh, she gave us uh, a very uh, clear and detailed picture of the nematodes uh, risk uh, uh, occurring in Italy. Uh, and uh, that was a, a good occasion and opportunity to enlarge uh, her description uh, that uh, already uh, gave uh, yesterday. And uh, she answered to many questions that came out uh, from uh, uh, the attendees uh, on, uh, on this uh, point. Uh, we have uh, uh, not a specific question to, to put to the very interesting uh, uh, presentation that we had. Uh, we also uh, think, uh, uh, I speak with the voice of all the attendees, uh, um, uh, Dr. Caporalino, uh, thank you very much uh, for, uh, for your very interesting uh, research and uh, presentation as well as uh, the experience of uh, Solomons uh, uh, on the database uh, application and usefulness. Uh, we discussed uh, a lot on the uh, opportunity of this tool, of the database, uh, to give uh, uh, advice and support uh, to advisors um, in uh, their, uh, in their um, uh, 
uh, knowledge and uh, in their work uh, to give uh, indication to the farmer. Um, there was uh, just a couple of general questions that I could uh, put on the floor if uh, somebody can uh, give uh, some indication uh, uh, additionally. Uh, in particular, one was uh, if somebody has experience uh, on a crop rotation which includes a strawberry, uh, which had a quite uh, specific kind of pathogens uh, uh, scheme in the soil, and uh, if there is somebody who had uh, some experience, uh, uh, it would be appreciated to give uh, some advising. And uh, another question uh, is uh, related to uh, fruit crop. In this case, if we cannot speak about rotation, it's more a topic of uh, yesterday, probably, but uh, uh, still I think it's useful to mention here. And uh, the case is, uh, uh, in order to improve uh, the quality of uh, the soil uh, for the organic matter, but also for the biodiversity, um, and uh, to reduce uh, soil tillage. It is uh, a good practice uh, uh, to grow uh, leguminoses like uh, lupin or uh, uh, fava beans uh, in between rows uh, and uh, to uh, cut uh, uh, very tiny the aerial part at the uh, end of uh, its uh, cycle, um, but leaving the cutting part on the ground like uh, uh, to have an effect of mulching um, to, to reach uh, the purpose to improve uh, the soil quality, reducing at the same time soil tillage. That is another question on the floor. Uh, for everybody who can have uh, indication about that. Um, yes, uh, thank, thank you, Maria Grazia. I, I guess that uh, there is uh, there are experts on um, so, on, on strawberry crops uh, participating right now. I, I don't know if they are uh, able to to share the the information will be a chat because I think that they cannot uh, use the, the camera and the, and the microphone in the stage. Yeah. But uh, at, uh, at any maybe, case, uh, if somebody, maybe if somebody had some uh, possible que answer, uh, we can include in the, in the document uh, at the end of the event uh, and uh, supply it uh, to the different participants, if, uh, if it's possible. Well, I, I understand that these are very specific questions uh, that uh, cannot be addressed to one uh, expert in particular. So, uh, but uh, this is uh, uh, almost uh, uh, the main point that uh, came out uh, from our section. Uh, and uh, uh, I again uh, think that uh, the workshop was, uh, however, uh, well participated, uh, and very fruitful for the big exchange we had, uh, and uh, we collected the interest also to have uh, additional uh, uh, potential meetings uh, in, uh, in Italy with some uh, specific actors, uh, and that is another way uh, to, to spread the knowledge of uh, best for soil, uh, um, because uh, one uh, important point uh, was in fact uh, uh, to create a new opportunity to share the knowledge and uh, to uh, train as much uh, uh, as uh, people possible uh, that are uh, uh, actors in agriculture. So starting from students, but uh, uh, surely advisors and, and farmers uh, to um, have much more attention on these topics uh, uh, related to soil uh, quality and uh, soil health. That is, uh, uh, well, a, a, an important aspect uh, that uh, is uh, starting to be uh, awareness uh, uh, of uh, most of uh, the people uh, participating in the workshop. So, Thank you again to everybody, and uh, that's it from the Italian section.
Thank you very much, Maria Gracia. For, for sure, the next year will be a very busy, 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 busy year for all of us, <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Uh, we will uh, go on with uh, Charlotte uh, from France. Uh, let us know what happened in your session. Uh, Caroline was there with you, and probably you have uh, uh, joined a very nice uh, discussion this morning. Yes. Charlotte, please. I will be very quickly, because um, as you say, we have several experts in the sessions. So I would like to thank Caroline, Claire, François, and other. So session was really appreciated. We have several questions, several questions, several discussions, sorry. And specifically, we we work with PIC a lot about benefit nematodes, also about resistant or trapping varieties of plants, and about the, um, the protocol and the experiments that we can perform to know which nematode are in source. So I haven't any question because I have some experts with me, so they answer all of my questions. Okay, thank you very much, Charlotte. Uh, we, we have seen that the, there is a, a nice interaction in the chat, in, also in the, in the French session chat. And uh, now to, to finish with this uh, panel, I will, I will ask uh, Kipros if uh, he can uh, give us any, any feedback from, from Cyprus, for, from the Greek session. I don't know if Kipros is able to connect. Oh. Well, you can't see me, yet, huh? Yeah, <laughs> but we, we, we can hear you. Okay. It's okay. Uh, I, I don't have anything to to ask myself. Um, I will stand by for your updates. Okay. Okay. So, so th thank you for your for your care. feedback. Take care. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Thank you. thank you. Bye. So now I think that it's it's time to to finalize uh, the the workshop. I wonder if uh, any of you want to to give some uh, final remarks in your uh, local language. It's your opportunity to, to say uh, something to the participants that uh, come from, from Spain, Italy, France, from countries where uh, they speak your language. Uh, so I will give you some seconds to, to conclude this, this workshop with your, with your impressions in your local language. You know that uh, our, our main uh, goal in Best for Soil is to facilitate all the information, the technical and the scientific information on soil health, on control of soil of soil borne uh, pathogens and um, parasites to the farmers, to the advisors in our countries. We know that uh, English is not uh, the, the main skill of uh, many of us. So this is a, a good chance to, to use your language in this uh, plenary session to say uh, someone to, to the participants and to our colleagues. Uh, Following the, the order, I will uh, ask Jose Ignacio. I give you the floor, Jose Ignacio, if you want to say something in, in Spanish to conclude. Okay, I, I'm here again. Uh, nada, agra agradecer a todos. Ha sido una maravillosa experiencia realmente este workshop que hemos disfrutado aquí en España. Bueno, voy a tratar de no saltarme a nadie, pues quiero agradeceros a todos los asistentes, a, a, a todos los ponentes, por supuesto, por el trabajo que habéis realizado, la, la comunicación, la información que habéis transferido tan valiosa, a todos los participantes y asistentes por vuestra actividad, a aquellos que no habéis participado también por el por el impulso que, que supone saber que, 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 que hay interés de, detrás de, de, de investigadores, detrás de, de profesionales en la mejora de la, de la salud del suelo. No quiero saltarme mi agradecimiento a, al equipo local. Bueno, Miguel, por supuesto, los mandos en la organización, ha sido el alma, la cabeza de, de este workshop 
y creo que ha sido maravillosa su, su gestión. A Alejandro Ayala, por supuesto, nuestro secretario que, que, que ha estado trabajando en silencio. Al final, uno es quien está dando la cara, un poco el follón también. Bueno, y entre bastidores, un poco en la retaguardia, como secretario ha realizado una maravillosa labor. Eh, agradecer al equipo técnico de Seven Reason que ha facilitado el evento, ha solventado cualquier tipo de, de problema a tiempo récord cuando ha surgido. Y, y bueno, eh, a todos, a todos los colegas mediterráneos, porque sé que también ha sido un, un éxito vuestras sesiones y que sigamos sembrando esta semilla en pro de, de la mejora de, de la salud de los suelos, que, que sigamos en esta línea, una gran sinergia y sin más, una maravillosa experiencia que me llevo por mi parte. Muchas gracias, José Ignacio. Thank you. Now we want to see Maria Grazia again uh, with the Italian uh, conclusions. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Miguel. Uh, thank you, Jose Ignacio, for uh, your support uh, in the background of this event. Um, in Italian now. Uh, io ringrazio tutti quanti i partecipanti per uh, la partecipazione a questo evento, grazie a loro il, il, la sessione italiana è stata veramente molto interessante, uh, tutti gli argomenti hanno toccato uh, veramente l'interesse e l'attenzione dei partecipanti, ringrazio eh, in particolare alcuni di quelli che si sono resi più protagonisti durante la discussione, come il signor D'Angelo, eh, come Balestri oggi, eh, ma come diversi altri eh, nel corso delle sessioni precedenti. Ringrazio tantissimo Giovanna Curto, che è stata veramente molto attiva eh, nella, nella, nel, nelle discussioni e nella, e nella eh, conversazione svolta. Eh, sono tantissimi, quindi non riesco a ricordarmi ora tutti i nomi e ringrazio tutti quanti. Ma come giustamente ha menzionato Ignacio José, eh, o José Ignacio per la sessione spagnola, eh, anch'io ringrazio sicuramente eh, Seven Reason per il grande supporto dato, Florian in particolar modo per essere stato con noi e averci eh, seguito nella nei piccoli problemi e negli scambi eh, del, eh, dei tecnici eh, avuti durante la sessione. Eh, ringrazio tutti quanti i, eh, gli speaker che hanno parlato e hanno presentato le loro esperienze che sono state veramente istruttive e eh, hanno provocato appunto eh, il dibattito e aumentato le consapevolezze che c'erano precedentemente a questo incontro da parte di tutti sui temi, sui temi trattati. E infine, ma non per ultimo, ringrazio tantissimo Vanni Piselli, che è stato eh, un po' un animatore con me delle diverse sessioni, senza di lui forse non si rompeva il ghiaccio così facilmente in diversi momenti, quindi un grazie speciale a, a Vanni per la sua esperienza e la possibilità di eh, rendere più attivo anche il dibattito in certi momenti e eh, infine ma non per ultimo un grazie speciale ai segretari della nostra sessione quindi a Sara Pondini, a Davide Amadori e a Silvia Paolini che è stata con noi ieri mattina. Io ringrazio te Miguel eh, per eh, l'organizzazione di tutto questo evento che è stata una grande scommessa un, un evento che ha visto appunto coinvolti tanti paesi in contemporanea, eh, una scommessa che però è andata bene, quindi è stata veramente eh, una ottima esperienza anche per noi e eh, grazie a Best for Soil che ci permette appunto di eh, poter approfondire questi temi che eh, ci stiamo accorgendo sempre di più e sempre di più eh, siamo nella diciamo nella lista di quelli che eh, stanno aumentando la consapevolezza e la, e la, e la coscienza di eh, dover guardare al suolo con una maggiore attenzione 
per le nostre produzioni agricole e per il futuro eh, dell'agricoltura in senso generale. Quindi ehm, con grande piacere abbiamo partecipato a questa, a questa iniziativa che ehm, è un, un, inizio, un inizio per crearne anche ulteriori altre in uh, collegamento con uh, i diversi, uh, diversi interessati uh, dal, uh, dal settore agricolo e in senso più ampio possibile uh, per quanto riguarda l'Italia. Quindi grazie. Un saluto a Mol tutti. <laughs> Molte grazie Maria, grazie. Thank you very much for, for your words. Uh, Charlotte, please, uh, can, you, can you say some words in, in French, s'il vous plaît? Yeah, sure. So thank you, Miguel, thank you, Gunter, and, and the other for the organization. So in France, donc, um, donc c'était un pari qui n'était pas forcément gagné, parce qu'initialement, c'était un événement qui aurait dû être fait euh, en physique avec euh, les 21 pays. Donc, euh, ça a été un petit peu compliqué de se mettre en place. Donc, euh, ça a été un beau challenge. Mais finalement, je trouve qu'on a plutôt bien réussi. Je voulais vous remercier tous d'avoir participé à ces deux jours. On a eu... Euh, entre ce que je disais tout à l'heure, entre 40 et 80 personnes avec des personnes très différentes. Donc, euh, finalement, on ne regrette pas d'avoir fait ça euh, en webinaire. Ça a permis à tout le monde d'accéder à ces ressources-là. Des ressources qui ont été vraiment très différentes. On remercie énormément les, les chercheurs. Donc, pour nous, on a eu la chance d'avoir des chercheurs français. Caroline a participé, Jacques hier a, a participé. Il est suisse, je précise, est pas, il n'est pas français. Mais ça a été une, une grande chance de les avoir avec nous. Ça a été vraiment beaucoup de, de connaissances qui ont été partagées. C'est vraiment le but du projet, c'est vraiment de transférer un maximum. On a aucune, il euh, n'y a aucune ambiguïté. On veut, on veut diffuser, diffuser et encore diffuser. Donc euh, voilà, je vous remercie d'avoir été présent, d'avoir été actif, d'avoir euh, donné euh, tout ce que vous aviez pendant ces deux jours. Et aussi, je voudrais pas remercier Marie qui ne peut pas être là aujourd'hui, qui a animé une des sessions hier. Roman qui a été là aussi. Euh, pour prendre les notes et noter toutes les questions. Henrik et François qui ont été aussi dans les coulisses. François a pas mal participé, il a su répondre à toutes les questions qu'on avait sur les nématodes. Donc voilà, un grand merci à tous et je vous attends vraiment en 2021 sur les, les événements physiques. On a noté que vous, que vous vouliez qu'on soit un peu plus sur le terrain, on le sera, et sur les, les prochains grands meetings. Merci à tous. Merci beaucoup, Charlotte. Thank you very much. And uh, keep us, please, this is time for the, the Greek language. Hello again, Miguel. Hello. Hello, na. Aristides on the nomada to best for soil. Leader of Miguel de Cara. Seven reasons. Ya only the boy can only be the organization to come here from the project. Oh yeah. Piso na erasan da ni ma da meson to protimasias kis kiris julias de Cara να βοηθηθούν οι αγρότες γενικά ε, η γεωργία στις πόλεμες να βοηθηθεί για έναν καλύτερο μέλλον για όλους μας εμάς και τα παιδιά μας. Ευχαριστώ για την προσοχή και ξέρω για τους γεωργανωτές για όλη τη σκληρή δουλειά. Thank you very much, Miguel. That was my message from me. Thank you, Kipros. Thank you very much. Thank you to, to all of you. Uh, We, we have an idea now of how, how many people uh, were involved in the, in the organization of this workshop. Uh, many people behind the, the, the screen uh, for many weeks, uh, months working to bring you these uh, materials, uh, able to share in different languages at the same time. It's our pleasure to, to finish this workshop. Uh, I don't, I, I'm not going to repeat that the, the topics that uh, have been stated in this workshop are really trending topics in Europe. All the farmers and the advisors are interested in the topics. We have a lot of things to do. We will be busy the next year. We will keep together. We know that we, we will have the chance to, to share our uh, um, meetings and our workshops with the face-to-face -face meeting with experimental uh, trial and training workshops. Uh, I am sure that in, in a few months we will be on, on the field again with the people and sharing these, these experiences. It was difficult to, to manage this uh, workshop. This was uh, expected to be a physical workshop with people physically joining the, the meeting in, in English. But finally, due to the situation with the coronavirus, 
we had to rethink on uh, on the organization of the workshop. And we found after many many uh, brainstorming and new ideas and new changes to organize the the workshop, we found this uh, specific way to to make the workshop interesting for the people and uh, also a, a a good option to exchange the information among the different. Uh, Mediterranean countries involved in the invest for soil. Thank you very much to everyone. Uh, you are a great team. Uh, thank you to the technical uh, support from Seven Reasons. It, it's, uh, it's, it was impossible to, to, to go with this workshop without your help. And to everyone, the facilitator, the secretaries, the people doing the translation, of course, the speakers. Uh, so kind uh, preparing the videos everyone had to learn how to make a video to how to record the presentation with the video it, it's it's been uh, a huge work for everyone to reach this uh, this moment and uh, i only want to finish uh, giving the thank you saying thank you to everyone and uh, uh, saying one thing that is uh, best for soil and um, we invite you to join us uh, please join the our website our emails you know the, the facilitators in your country ask them to organize to share the, the experience to organize workshop in your country because our goal is to to improve and maintain the soil of european the health sorry the health of european soils thank you very much and with these words i finish this workshop thank you and bye